Hey everyone, this is my top 5 scariest games of all time. Um, this is just my list, so if your games don't make it, don't get angry. Or if you don't think my games are scary, don't get angry. Um, I didn't really prepare for this, so all I did was gather my games. I thought I'd talk about them. Uh, number 5 here is... Huh, should that be number 5? This might be higher on the list, actually. But Alan Wake, I'm only on episode 3 of this so far, but this game is freaky as hell. I, it like jump scared me like the first five minutes in. Um, there's nothing or very little more stressful than running through the dark woods with a flashlight and knowing something is chasing you, which is these stupid shadow people. Um, they get a little repetitive after a while and they're not as scary, but at first you're pretty freaked out by these people. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else spooky about this. This is a really good story, by the way, but the gameplay is kind of repetitive. Alan Wake, number five. Uh, number two is Resident Evil 2. I do not have a copy of that anymore. I used to have one. If you have one, you want to let me have it. Eh, just kidding. Um, Resident Evil 2 freaked me out when I was younger, like a lot. There's this big, huge, bald guy in like a trench coat or something, and uh, I remember this one part. I think you're watching him on monitors or something, like security cameras. Am I thinking of the same game? Anyways, he ends up busting through a wall at you, and it's like the worst jump scare of my life. It was bad. So, uh, yeah, play that if you haven't. Tank controls and all. There's a remake coming out, so I can't wait to try that. Uh, number three. Go away, Ellie. Number three is Dead Space. This game is very stressful. Um... If you have not played Dead Space, basically it's a third-person shooter, except you're you're walking through these really really tight hallways, and they're dark, and since it pretty much knows when to like pop stuff out at you or when to make something creepy happen, like something move. Or I remember this one part: you're walking down the hallway, and um, there's this, like dead guy. He's he's just standing against the wall, banging his head on the wall. And you just don't want to walk up to him because you don't know what's going to happen. I won't ruin what happens, but it's just very suspenseful because you're, you're like, huh, I can only go one direction and there's a dead guy banging his head on the wall up there. So what do I do? But anyways, if you play on the harder difficulties, they make the, um, the ammo and stuff really scarce. And that makes it even more stressful. So yeah, Dead Space. Very freaky. I hate you necromancers. I think that's what they're called. Um, number two here is Silent Hill 2. Um, I remember getting this at GameStop a long time ago. I wasn't sure what to think about it. I just heard that it was kind of a freaky game. And I was just feeling some horror. You know, every once in a while you get in a horror move mood. I didn't know what to expect. This isn't like jump scare scary. So if you're expecting that, don't play this. This is like make you feel disturbed and like mess with your brain and like I don't know if it still had that same effect because the graphics are not as good as they used to be but uh it might I don't know but those nurses they're pretty freaky and then once you see Pyramid Head for the first time it's bad um very 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 creepy game disturbing story disturbing deaths and stuff this game just knows how to mess with your brain um number one this is literally my scariest game of all time um, it gets less and less scary the more you play it, I guess, unless you wait a long time, but it is PT, the playable teaser demo on PS4. Sadly, if you just recently got a PS4, you can't get PT because they took it down off the PSN, but that game is, that game is brutal. It just, it's, it's kind of jump scary, I guess, but just, it's amazing to me how they can get so much... Uh, like feelings out of the players just from one hallway and it just keeps recycling the same hallway but it seems like the experience every single time you play it's different it's crazy but uh, PT is my number one scariest game of all time and if you have not played it try it I do not recommend buying a thousand dollar PS4 for it though maybe find a friend I don't know anyways thanks for watching and uh, happy Halloween bye